That is a big message. Trusting in God. You know, there are people who trust in other things. You trust in your bank account. You trust in your husband. You trust that your savior will come from your child. We have put our trust in different areas. But this morning, we have been encouraged to put our trust in God. As we serve him, Let's trust that all will be well. As we worship our God, let's trust that he will be able to deliver us. When she was ministering, the Holy Spirit dropped a, 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 a scripture. The scripture is Romans 3 verse number 4. Let's begin from verse number 3. Romans. Long Romans chapter number 3, verse number 4. But let's begin from verse number 3. Church, can we try to read this, all of us? One, two, three, go. For what if some did not believe? Will their unbelief make the faithfulness of God without effect? The fact that you don't believe, will that change God? Praise God. The fact that you don't believe, Will that change what God wants to do? Verse number four says, one, two, three, go. Certainly not. Indeed, let, be, let God be true, but every man be a liar. Praise God. Let God be true. Let every man, let every woman be liars. That's why the scripture says, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We have limitations in trusting God. We have limitations in putting our faith in God. And Paul speaks to the Romans. And he says, let God be true. He never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And because he never changes, what he promised he will do in your life, he will certainly do it. Hang in there. What he promised he will deliver in your hands. It is a matter of time. He will be able to give it to you. And that's why the speaker this morning is saying, let us learn to trust our God. Men can fail you. Women can fail you. Employers can fail us. But Jehovah will not fail you. Jehovah will not fail your life. Jehovah will not change. And Paul reiterates and says, let God be true. And every man, we are wired to be liars. In the heart of every man is deceit. Praise God. Amen. The heart of every man Amen. is deceitful. Amen. I loved when she said, Peter sees Jesus walking on the water. And he says, if you are Jesus for true, for sure. If you are not lying, I know you are capable. You command me that I may also walk on water. And Jesus command him, you come. And do you know, Peter walked on the word. Praise God. Walking on the word is trusting the word. Walking on the word is believing the word. Walking on the word is saying, on this word, I will hang my family on this word. Praise God. That you may be justified in your words. Praise God. They just you know, we are justified not by anything else. We are justified by the word of God. Praise God. May the justification of God of our lives come from the word of God, which is true, which is the Lord himself. 2 Timothy 2, verse number 13. Those are two scriptures that the Lord dropped when she was ministering. Listen to what 2 Timothy 2, verse number 13 says. One, two, three, church. One, two, three. Let's go. If we are faithless, 
Because sometimes we find ourselves not trusting God. We find ourselves faithless. You know, you are the one who, who, who decided to get married. Are you understanding? Believing that in the marriage you see three children. And then you lose faith. That in this marriage I cannot deliver children. Are you understanding me now? If we are faithless, He, God, remains faithful. Praise God. And by the faithfulness of God, we succeed. And that's why I love when the disciples said, God, help my unbelief. Praise God. Yes, you're asking me to trust you, but I have not enough trust. And he says, if your faith will be as little as a master seed, you can command this mountain. Praise God. Amen. If you trust God in a small size, whatever you declare, the Lord will, come, will, will bring it to pass. Amen. Church, lift up your right hand and say, My Father, my God, my Father, my God. help my belief that I may trust you in everything. Say, Oh God, increase my faith to trust in the Lord. Say, Oh God, increase my faith to believe in you. In Jesus' name. If we are faithless, he, Jesus, remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. Praise God. Amen. Say it in Kimeru. He cannot deny himself. I wrote down when she was writing that faith heals. Praise God. Trusting in the Lord. I trust that in the Lord is the only place where I will be healed. God will heal you there. God will deliver you there. God will set you through there. And do you know, it is just incumbent on you to trust God. And God will stand on your trust and it will come to pass. I wrote down again and said, Faith moves mountains. When you trust God that this mountain can move, go that faith. That trust will move that mountain. There is no mountain bigger than our God. Did I? Can I say it again? There is no mountain. There is no problem. There is no pain. There is no sickness that is bigger than our God. Amen. What is it that is bigger than our God? Nothing. Praise God. Amen. Just saying simple English, nothing is bigger than our God. Nothing is bigger than our God. Praise God. Amen. Sometimes we find ourselves not trusting in God. And we want to trust in other things. But I want to tell you, we fail it. I wrote down this. Faith delivers people. Praise God. God. And the example, when this was dropping on them. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted that even if our God fails, Praise God. We will not fail to go to the fire. He will somehow, somehow deliver us. May the, the, may the Lord deliver you in the month of September. Uh, these people do not hear. Can I say it? May the Lord deliver you in the month of September. May God heal you in the month of September. May God move in your life in this month in the name of the Lord. What you have been waiting for God to do, may he do it today. May he do it today. May he do it in your life. Do it in your family. Do it in your businesses. Do it in your body. May the Lord, who never fails, be able to stand with you. Put your hands together and give a, give a celebration unto our call. I wrote down and she also said it, that faith, hope, and trusting God is the best that we need. Praise God. That you cannot trust when you have no hope. Praise God. And you cannot hope in whom you don't believe in. Praise God. That faith in the law, trusting in the law, and hoping in this God, things will move in Jesus' name. Praise God. God is a good God. Oh my God. He, all that he has promised, he will be able to deliver all. He will do what? 
he will deliver all. Has he promised to give you a business? He will deliver a business in your life. Has he promised to give you a promotion? He will give you a promotion. Has he promised to be able to save in your life? He will save in your life. Are you understand? He is a deliverer. He is the savior. He is the promoter. The Lord will do it. You stand tall and trust in this God. Stand tall and believe in this God. Stand tall and hope that the Lord will do it where you cannot do it. And I declare in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And all the people say the man. 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 Glory to our Father. Let's stand up and finish our service. Okay.